Hey everybody, Sean Tubbs here. This is the Seymour Duncan Foos Analog Fuzz Synthesizer Pedal. Really cool, versatile, um, just fuzz synth pedal. Um, I'm not gonna go into all the controls on it. Um, we'll just jump into the demo and I'll just kind of explain as I go. But I will tell you that it has three sections. You have a fuzz uh, section and a filter section, which sounds great and is really versatile, as well as a tremolo and LFO section. And then you also have uh, an envelope, uh, which is gonna allow you to uh, modulate uh, either depth or rate or frequency. And then on top of that, you can uh, use uh, an expression pedal to uh, modulate your, uh, your depth, or I should say control your depth or your speed or your frequency, and that's all done uh, via these little switches on the, the back side of the pedal. Just depending on how you have them set is how things can be uh, controlled. And, and even with the envelope, uh, you can choose uh, if you want it to uh, modulate the depth, do you want the uh, envelope to modulate rate? Do you want to inverse uh, the direction of the envelope? You can do that, which is really cool. So if you want to go from high to low instead of low to high, you can just throw, throw one of those little switches and uh, you're good to go. Um, so it's just an incredibly versatile pedal that starts out as a really cool kind of square wave fuzz and then just goes all the way into pretty much the sky's uh, the limit. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this Seymour Duncan Foos Analog Fuzz Synthesizer Pedal. Okay, let's check out the uh, Seymour Duncan Foos. I'm going to use my uh, Sir Classic Pro Strat into my Red Plate Blues Machine. It's kind of a Fendery thing I got going. Uh, here's just the guitar and the amp. And here is the Foos. I'm going to start with just the fuzz section and then we'll move on from there. Thank you. 
So it's a cool sounding fuzz. It's kind of more of a kind of a square wave thing. <laughs> Now you can make it so it's more of just kind of enhancing as opposed to so much fuzz. So like right now, here's just guitar and amp again. So overall, it's a really cool sounding fuzz uh, section just to start. Let's move over to the filter side and I'll let you guys kind of check that out. What I'm going to do is I'll turn on the low pass filter first and I'm just going to sweep it with this resonance control off so you can kind of get an idea of what's going on. So you can kind of choose your frequency on the low pass, but we can also switch to the band pass side. I'll let you hear that. Now, once we find a frequency we like, and I kind of like the bandpass, uh, you can start adding resonance to it, or basically ring. <laughs> become more apparent as you run more gain. So it's just a really cool kind of tweakable uh, thing that you can do just using the fuzz and the uh, the filter section. Now, what I'm going to do is turn that off because I want you guys to hear the uh, uh, the tremolo section. I'll go ahead and turn the gain down a little bit. Let me turn that on. The tremolo section is super uh, uh, versatile. It really, you can just dial in so many different just tremolo sounds. So, uh, so check it out. So obviously we know uh, depth and speed. Now wave and shape are two different things. And instead of trying to you know, describe to you technically what that is, let's just listen to it. do the same thing with the shape. So we can go from like a, a totally choppy trim 
to more of like a clean, really just kind of sweet, smoother uh, trim sound. And of course that is tap tempo. And I believe it's set automatically to uh, eighth notes. Now that can also be controlled via expression pedal. Speed and the depth uh, can be controlled via expression pedal. And I'll put up a couple clips so you guys can kind of check that out. But that's the tremolo section. It sounds really good. Okay, so let me shut that back off. I'm gonna go back to the filter section so you guys can check out how the sensitivity uh, setting works for the envelope filter, as well as using uh, the, uh, the low frequency oscillator to kind of manipulate the frequencies that you've chosen. So I'll go ahead and uh, turn on, let's do, let's go bandpass. <laughs> So right now that frequency is not going to move. Where we have it chose with that resonance is going to sit. Now what we can start doing is we can go ahead and turn on the envelope switch. Now that's going to bring the envelope into play and basically it's attack and release at this point. So. It's gonna be at the highest frequency when you first hit the note, and then as it releases, it's gonna drop back down to a lower uh, pass. So if you want it to drop faster, then you'll turn the sensitivity down. If you want it to kind of hang uh, longer, then turn the sensitivity up and it'll release um, slower. <laughs> basically how I got that sound. As you can hear, I turned on a delay so you could kind of have an idea of how I got the sound that I used in the uh, the performance thing. I really loved just kind of how random it was because it would just kind of do different things as it kind of flowed uh, through the attack and release cycle. So you can certainly use it like that. Now, if you do want to do kind of more of a, a wah thing, or I should say uh, more kind of an auto wah. <laughs> So you can definitely do those type of vibes with it as well. Now, uh, you can also do uh, wah pedal type things uh, using an expression pedal. And I, uh, I'll put up a, a little quick clip of that too so you can check it out. Now, we uh, can go from using the, uh, the envelope sensor to doing uh, more of a low frequency oscillator type of thing. And that'll move us back up to this section. We already kind of know how these controls work and what they do, so the same uh, idea applies. <laughs> Thank you. 
So, I mean, the sky is just kind of the limit. Um, you know, a lot of the, the sounds that I actually arrived on were just kind of accidental. And I was like, oh my God, that's perfect. So I would take a picture of it and make sure I could dial it back up. But you can hear it's just, it's endless kind of possibilities. Um, it's, like I said, it's sky's the limit. Um, all those tweaks I was just doing, same thing. You can do that uh, using uh, an envelope uh, control, or I'm sorry, an expression pedal to control speed and, and depth. Um, and I think you can even control uh, level, which is awesome, um, and also uh, frequency. And that all kind of falls under the, you know, the wah thing. And, you know, it's just uh, pretty much anything you want to do, uh, you can do with this pedal. And that was the other thing that kind of sold me on it, too, is especially when I'm kind of doing those Daniel and wah things. Usually I got to get out a prescription electronics like fuzz pedal and I've got a wah pedal and then I got to get out like a delay pedal. And in this case, I pretty much I had everything I needed for at least the frequency response and the fuzz in one pedal with a ton of other features. So um, this thing uh, just really does a lot. It's it's very uh, a very productive uh, tool uh, for guitar players. But don't forget about uh, the guys that play the big uh, strings, it's really great for bass as well. So that is the Foos. Um, if you have any other questions, go to the Seymour Duncan website. And as always, I appreciate you guys tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.